Hello, my friends. Welcome to another episode of Warhammer 40,000 Inquisitor Martyr. My name is Wilfred. So it's been a while. I've been distracted by other games like Diablo 4. Um, and well, I mean, um, like what my last video I've said, I'm done with that Diablo 4 Season 1. So I'm back to uh, Warhammer Inquisitor. And uh, man, I, uh, I spent a couple of days playing the brand new season, the season of uh, Malediction, which happened just right before season 1 of Diablo 4. Um, it's so much fun. It's so much more fun than the time I spent with Diablo 4. Now, you know, I'm not going to criticize D4, not meant to be what this video is about. But um, just that when I, when I come back to Warhammer um, Inquisitor, that, that I, there's no more time, no more required to spend so much time walking from one vendor to another vendor. Um, no more kind of like open world. You have to do a lot of mounting and traveling, um, or spending time to look through each and every uh, rare ancestral item just to find that one gem that I want. Um, I don't. There's no more uh, time event. Um, I don't need to sort of like uh, evolve my my uh, gaming uh, my real real life around the uh, gaming kind of like uh, timing rather to say if i want to play i play if i play for five ten minutes i log in do a few missions and come back out uh that's fine i don't need to look at the elixir kind of like timer and say well you know it's a waste if i lock out now in diablo 4 it's a waste uh, if i if I, um, you know, because the, the, the elixir timer will not uh, get um, paused when I lock off and lock in. And, um, you know, look, I, uh, the dungeon as well, I don't need to spend so much time in one single dungeon doing back and forth uh, to come back just overall feel uh, a little bit longer and so on. So, yeah, I mean, I, I just feel so much more freedom uh, playing the Inquisitor Martyr. And by the way, it's a rare gem in this. Um, in, in, in on Steam and in the ARPG hardware, I've got quite a few guides in my channel talk about this game. Like if you're into the season mechanic, I will update the the season based on the latest um, malediction. But uh, my previous uh, video should still work. Um, I've got a written um, version as well. If you don't feel like watching a very long video, although it could be. Uh, helpful if you are new to the game and not sure how some of this game mechanic work. Um, I've got video on tips on uh, leveling as well and um, some game guide for Battle Sister or Tap Pit Priest. So yeah, I mean, coming back to uh, Inquisitor Martyr, I feel that um, I now have really meaningful kind of like character or gear progression. I can see, you know, time and time again, I can improve a little bit. I can experiment, build a lot better. I don't need to kind of like, you know, invest so much time into the whole entire Paragon or skill tree in Diablo 4, which kind of like, it just stagnant. Uh, in the uh, Inquisitor Martyr, I've got to reset the uh, part of my passive here and there just to have a feel on what works, what doesn't. Um, and the crafting is a lot more flexible, like, you know, if you compare the two games, uh, both games have a lot of affixes on their uh, good gear, but, you know, in in Warhammer Inquisitor, you don't need to find those exact matches. You just need to make sure that you've got the right quote-unquote legendary. Uh, there's a similar term in, in the Warhammer universe. And you just uh, you can just do all the crafting you want. Of course, it costs a little bit of uh, effort to, to do some crafting, but uh, you don't need to worry about the affixes not suitable to you. What you need to worry about is that are those affixes uh, relevant to your build? And that's all. You just need to change anything, everything you want. Man is so good. Now, of course, last but not the least, auto looting. I don't need to click on the ground anymore. Item by light item. I uh, have to pick up, like, you know, uh, I pick up ancestral rare, but not not the sacred rare in Diablo 4. And also, look, I mean, in in this game, um, the, the inventory is multi tap So um, every time I go to a dungeon, for sure, I can grab everything that I want without even thinking about what to drop and so on without having to go back to town and who to, um, sort of like salvage or sell some items. I can just do everything I need, uh, everything I want. The inventory space is big enough for that. So in a way, oh, I feel at home coming back to uh, Inquisitor Martyr and I'll be doing more 
videos for this game, uh, more live streaming as well. I'm playing the Psyker in this new season. I'm going to tweak my build a little bit. I, I know I've uh, played Psyker in one of the season, also a fire build. But this time around, I'm going to follow my friends, uh, Nostromo's advice, and use, um, use a blade for me to uh, teleport quite pretty fast across the map and so on. So I'm going to change the way that I'm going to do my character a little bit and see whether I can improve upon what I've had a couple of seasons ago. But anyway, um, this is just a shout out to you all that I'm back in the Warhammer 40,000 uh, universe and I'll do a lot more videos for this game. All right, stay tuned. Bye.